my first love. The girl was... Haruto! Get that one! Okay! Oh my god! Done! Ah! Oh! Hey, I'm coming in! Mom told me to bring you some juice. Oh, thanks. Oh, uh, this is my sister, Ichika. Hi! It's nice to meet a friend of my brother. Uh, uh, hi. I fell in love with my best friend's sister, Ichika. Five years later, I've been hiding my love for all that time. But that's over today. Well, uh, oh, Haruto, we're re-meeting today? Oh, uh, no, I have something for Ichika today. Ichika? Yes, can you get her? Ichika is graduating from high school. She's going to attend Kaimani University, which is the same as me. Before she went to college and started dating some other guy. I'm going to tell her how I feel. I'm Haruto Okama. I'm 20 years old and today I will be a man. Ichika, uh, Haruto wants to talk to you. What? To me? Haruto, it's been a while. I've loved you for five years. Will you be my girlfriend? What? what? Uh, I'm sorry, that was sudden. But I've liked you since the day you brought me juice. You've liked me for five years now? That's weird. What? I mean, I'm planning to move to Tokyo and find a man with an annual income of 30 million yen. I don't even consider guys like you. What? Oh, sorry, dude. Ichika is aiming for gold, isn't she? It's not good, but I'd give up if I were you. <sighs> Thus, my five-year crush was shattered in an instant. A rich man with an annual income of 30 million. Uh, I really liked her, though. A rich guy. Did you see her? The girl at the entrance? I saw her. She's here every day lately. She, she's so dirty. There's definitely something wrong. The rumor has it that she's sleeping here. Ugh, seriously? A dirty girl is sleeping here? Curious, I got out of the bath and headed towards the entrance immediately. I see. This is certainly odd. She hasn't always been like this. What's going on? Oh, I'm sorry. I'll move soon. No, I didn't mean it that way, but I was genuinely wondering what happened. Actually, the place of my part-time job I was working for went bankrupt. So, you're looking for a job? No, the part-time job I used to work for has gone bankrupt three times in a row! What? So, I wonder if it's better not to work anymore. Oh wow, that is tough. Can't leave this dirty girl alone. You can come to my house if you like. Is that okay? I decided to take her home for the time being. Here we are. What? This is your home? Yeah. What? Who are you? I'm just a college student. Just a college student doesn't live like this. My parents bought it for me as a student apartment. What kind of world do you live in that your parents will buy you a billion yen for a student apartment? Who are you? I'm the owner of the super bathhouse where you were sleeping. That means... You are the son of the major bathhouse chain Okama no Yu that is expanding nationwide? Whoa! She's so surprised that her soul is trying to leave. I guided Riho to my place. I had her take a bath and change into new clothes. Oh, this is so good! I've never had such a good meal before! I'm glad you like it. And so, my strange communal life with Riho began. One day, after a while... Um, can I work at Okama no Yu? <laughs> what? But didn't the places you worked at all go bankrupt? Oh, that's right. <laughs> Just kidding. Let's see if they really go bankrupt. When I told my father about Riho... Ah, that's so interesting! A challenge between us and the plague. Well, we're not going to lose. <laughs> okay, you can start tomorrow. Really? Thank you! Okama's baths are the best! The spring quality, temperature, the smell of wood, everything is in perfect harmony! It's wonderful! <laughs> Thanks for the compliment! Sera, can you smell the scent of wood while wearing a mask? Yes, this mask has been made through a special process! Hey Haruto, how are you these days? I heard that the girl you liked turned you down. Oh yeah, that did happen. But now I don't care anymore. Then I told them about Riho and how I cared about her. Oh, you met her like that? She does everything around the house and for me. I'm quite happy. Oh man, I'm so jealous. 
true love that began at a bathhouse. Oh no, I've got to be careful. My mask will get wet. After a few months of living together, we became more comfortable with each other. Once, when the two of us were walking around the city... Hey, it's you! Ichika, it's been a while. The girl who destroyed my five-year love in an instant. I ran into Ichika. Is that your girlfriend? <laughs> she looks really poor. I guess it's true. Poor people attract poor people. Well, I'm going to meet up with some uh, celebrity students of S. Money University. Bye-bye. I'm sorry. She thinks you're poor because of me. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. I'm sorry you had to hear that. As a college student, I've kept my eye on the goal. So I meet high potential boys all the time. Maybe today I'll find the darling I deserve. I'm Tatihata. My hobby is weightlifting. I'm Dingadi. Recently, I've been doing a lot of camping. My name is Kojiro Sera. My hobby is collecting masks. My number one mask is made by Moroboshi Farmer. Oh, these guys are good, right? I told you, right? They're great! Jinguji and Sera are part of the S Money High Four Leaders group. I'm aiming for Jinguji! Hey, Jinguji, it's so cool to be into camping. I've been thinking about trying camping. Really? It's fun. <laughs> you should try it. I think Mount Minami Manio is a great place for beginners. Uh, what? Hey, Jinguji, aren't you more into chess lately? We've got a challenge going on. The first to 100 wins. Right now, we are 50-53. I haven't given up yet. Ah, uh, alright. Then, shall we play when we get home? Got it. Huh? Wait a second! That was a chaotic meetup. All three of us struck out. I'm not interested in camping. He should know that it's an excuse to get together. The worst part was that masked alien. What's up with him? That's funny. When I invited him, I thought he seemed interested when I mentioned your name. Oh, yeah. I heard a rumor that there's a senior at the university who lives in an elite tower mansion. Seriously? Yeah, his parents were the presidents of some kind of company and they moved to Tokyo and bought the place for him. Really? The son of a rich man! I didn't know that it was such a good candidate at the same university. I haven't done my due diligence. The meetup hasn't gone well, but if there's a tower mansion boy here, he's mine. I started gathering information on the student. A few weeks after running into Ichika, I got some great news. Uh, I need to tell you something. Sure, what's going on? I'm pregnant. Uh, pregnant? Uh, am I going to be a daddy? Oh, thank you. I'm so happy. Haruto, I'm so glad you feel that way. So, I can't be a mom? Well, yeah. Gathering information on students is difficult. No matter who I asked, they didn't know much about him. However... Do you know a student here that lives in an elite mansion? Yeah, I think his name is Okama. I'm sure he lives in a tower mansion in Maniwadai. I heard that his dad is the president of the super bathhouse Okama no Yu. Okama? Maniwadai Okama no Yu bathhouse. Then I remembered something. Come to think of it, his last name was Okama. No way! I couldn't wait, so I immediately contacted my brother. Hey! Wasn't your friend in high school called Haruto Okama? Give me his address! Huh? What's going on? Don't worry about it, just give it to me! My destiny depends on it! I went to the address my brother gave me. There it was! An elite tower mansion! That's it! He is the son of the old Kamano Yu owner! Let's see... The room is 2505, which means it's on the 25th floor... There he is! I'm going to be a dad! Oh, I've got a lot to learn! Let's practice the Mani Pan Man dance for when the baby cries. Mani Mani Pan Man, Mani Pan Man! Oh my god! I guess real rich people really do do yoga at home. Oh, he's done! Whoa, he's drinking wine! Ah, amazing! I want to do that too! Hello? It's Ichika! What? Ichika came to see me. I wonder where she got my address. What's the matter? I was too young at the time to realize your charm. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry for not thinking about you once even though you liked me for five years. 
Ah, uh, it's been that long ago. I'm not concerned about it. But I like you! Huh? That's the girl we met the other day. What's going to happen? There's no way Haruto is going to choose me over the girl he liked for five years. What am I going to do with the baby? Sorry, but I don't have those feelings anymore. What? You liked me so much? Well, I'm getting married. What? Married? And we're having a baby. A baby? Talking to you like this will definitely make her worried. Will you please leave now? Ah, uh, you have to be kidding. My destiny! I realized a lot that time she turned me down. I'm planning to move to Tokyo and find a man with an income of 30 million yen. I don't even consider guys like you. The important thing is to determine who the person is. I shouldn't continue to chase Ichika, because she's only interested in money. About one year has passed since then. Our baby was born safely. Okama no Yu was steadily growing, and Riho and I were very happy. Apparently, the places you work don't all go bankrupt after all. <laughs> it seems so. But the reason I'm happy now is because you took care of me back then. I'll take care of you too for the rest of my life. Me too. Ah, oh, look. While the two of you were snuggling, Sarah picked up the baby and now it's crying. Wait, is this my fault? <laughs> Let's see. Shall we do the Mani Panman dance? Ah, oh, I love the began at the bathhouse. I'm so jealous. When I have a baby, I'm going to buy it Mani Florin or Morobali baby masks. <laughs> well, Sarah, you should start by taking off your mask and finding your partner. Everyone, you should all find your students' strengths first. Then let's clarify the goal. I am Nico, Moroboshi's A-cross maid. I'm so excited right now. Instead of try a little harder, try... When you're done with page 15, you can take a break. Give them specific goals. Nico is amazing. I can't believe she's a teacher's teacher. I was right to appoint Nico as a teacher's trainer for my new tutoring business. Nico is smart enough to test out the early years at universities overseas. Akimi, you did the best on the test again. So today, you get your favorite dinner, croquettes! <gasps> wow, it looks so good! It's croquettes today. Huh, I get just one dumpling? I'm Taiga Yoshimoto, a second year student at Asmani High School. My sister and I are twins, and so we compete for who gets the best marks on our tests at school. The rule is that if you get the highest score, you get to eat good meals for that month. Mm, it's so good! Keep it up for the next test again. We've got high hopes for you, Akumi. Mom is an education first mom, and dad is at the mercy of mom. Ever since this rule was adopted, I've been eating poorly almost every day. Hmm... <sighs> What's wrong? Well, in my family, the food is decided by test results. By the test results? Esmani High School has a test once a month, and the results determine what meal we get. My sister and I compete based on test results. The one with a better score gets to eat better meals. What? That's a weird rule. Yeah, it's really weird. So that's why you're so thin. Well, I'm thinking of getting this rule changed someday. What? Seriously? You have a boyfriend? <laughs> well, yeah. Nice! And he's one of the best-looking guys in the class. Oh, I'm so jealous! He's coming over to my place today. No way! You have to tell us about it tomorrow. Okay. I'm home! Hey, uh, wait. Who is that? My boyfriend. Hey, nice to meet you. Unlike my stupid brother, I was smart, and I have a boyfriend. Oh, I see. Hey, it looks like you've been playing around a lot lately. Are you ready for the test? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm going to do better than you. Unlike you, I scored more than 90 points on all the subjects. Oh yeah, that's right. Worry about yourself first. I'll be in my room with him. Is she really okay? Akemi Yoshimoto. Yes. It's okay. You've got this. 
If you score 90 or more in all subjects, you can't beat him. What happened this time? Are you okay? It's rare for you to have a bad score. Huh? A b bad score? Oh, well, there are times like this. Just do your best next time. No way! What happened? It was the first time she'd ever gotten a failing score. Only 25 points. I, on the other hand... 38 points? As usual, just the number of points to avoid red dots at the last minute. That can't be! Akimi's feeling bad. She never thought she'd get such a bad score. Getting a worse score than me made her feel even worse. Oh wow, 25 points is serious. Oh, no, no, th this is... I'm sorry, I can't date an idiot. I thought you were smart. Wait! Now she feels even worse. But this is the month I put my plan to work. Akimi, what? What is this score? Did you study or just play around? Shame on you! What a blemish to the Yoshimoto family! Your dinner is going to be one dumpling from today. Okay. <laughs> Why is this happening? I was feeling terrible. Just then... What? Taiga came into the room. I made this for you. What? But if you get caught, you'll get in trouble. Don't worry about it. I bought all the ingredients. What? You made this? Yep. I'm actually pretty good at it. Every day after that, Tiger prepared dinner for me. I made a hamburger today. You like hamburger steak, right? <sighs> What's wrong? You don't like it? Not bad. Why are you so nice to me? Because you're my precious sister. Taiga... I've always looked down on him. He's always looked out for me. But if you do this every day, you'll run out of money. It's okay. I'm actually making a little money. What? That's right. I make money by selling used goods online. Oh, the price of this product has been reduced. If I put it up for auction, I'll make some money. This is how I made the money. It's amazing. So, why was your score bad this time? I've been under a lot of pressure every day. And I just got my first boyfriend. I was having fun, and then my grades dropped. I see. <sighs> but I'm tired. I'm scared every time I take a test. I want to be more like a normal high school student and have fun every day. That's right. All right, it's time to start my plan. Even after that, our parents were still furious that her test scores were bad. Look at me. Why was this score so bad? Have you lost motivation? They continued to complain about the results of her test over and over again. We're going to get serious for our next test. So if we get a perfect score in the next test, take us here. Saying that, I showed a pamphlet for a Manilan three-star restaurant. What are you talking about? You can't do that! Well, you don't know that, do you? Besides, at least we will be studying. Okay, if you get 100 points, we'll take you. Yes, if you both get 100 points. It's impossible anyway, but at least you will be studying. Okay, remember, you promised. Hey Taiga, why did you do that without telling me? We can't get 100 points, we've never done it before! It's okay, I'll do something about it the next day. So, uh, that's what I did. Jacobi, do you know a good shooter? First of all, what are you going to do about the money? A good shooter costs a lot of money. I make about 100,000 yen a month, so it's okay. I see. Then maybe there is someone who will do it. Really? Oh, I'll give them a call. A few days later, a tutor came to the house. Hello, I'm your tutor. I'm Miko. Nice to meet you. Oh, uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you? Hey, why is she wearing maid clothes? Is she really okay? Um, I just saw her for the first time. A trusted friend introduced her, so it's okay. Yakubi, you've got to tell me these things first. I usually work as a maid at the Moroboshi conglomerate. I am in charge of the home tutor business there. Rest assured what I teach you will help you increase your scores. Wow. Alright. 
Yakubi, you've really got some connections. I really want to get 100 points on the next test, so please help me do so. Oh, me too! That's how he started. She immediately listened to our request and Nico began teaching us. This is wrong. Keep the formula in mind. Okay. okay. But that's not all. Oh, well, let's see, Taiga. Yes? You should be able to do better. Are you making these mistakes on purpose? You need to take it more seriously. Uh, uh, okay. Um, yes, I do it on purpose. She quickly discovered my secret. Taiga is really smart. What? Really? That's when I realized it. Taiga was always smart from the very beginning. But in our house, the one who has the poor scores doesn't get to eat well. In other words... Wait, what was I thinking? Let's keep studying. <laughs> okay. Finally, we took the next test and the day for the results came. Oh, I wonder how we did. We studied so much, so I'm sure we'll be fine. This time, there are two perfect scores. Taiga and Akimi. Isn't it amazing that the twins did it? We, we did, did it! And then, we showed the results to our parents. Look, that's amazing, isn't it? See? I told you so, right? Oh, no way. I really can't believe you both scored 100 points in all subjects. Yeah, me too. I really can't believe it. See? You can do it if you try it. That's right. You didn't study enough before. Great! And as promised, let's go eat some good food! Yeah, you promised. Oh, yeah, that. We talked it over and decided we shouldn't do that. What? Getting good results are for your own good. You don't have to be rewarded for that. That's right. Studying is for your future. What? But that's not what you promised! Besides, we don't have that kind of money. So just do the same on your tests next time. You can't do that. Just as I thought. So far, everything went as expected. I had planned it right. If it's about money, I have it. What? what? Taiga, where'd you get that money? I earned it on a flea market app. Well, well, if you want to use your money, then we should go eat. Oh, a three-star restaurant. I wonder if they have caviar. Making money from selling useless things around a house? It's worth it if you get to eat something good. And it was worth getting a hundred points. Huh? Useless things. Brand bags, golf sets, things like that. What? what? Hey, where's my golf set? And my Maname's bag! Uh, what are you going to do now? That was expensive. Don't worry, I sold it for more than the market price. That's not the problem! Wait a minute. You've always said, well, that's the rules. But you break the rule if it's not convenient for you? That may be, but... Okay, then let's go. But... Well, can't do anything about it. But I'm going to order foie gras, caviar, and everything else. Wow, this is really good. I've never eaten such good food. Thank you so much, Mom. Dad! Well, it's a celebration today. So, that's right. It's special today. We'll do it again next month, too. So let's eat here again, then. Yeah, we will. And if we do our best next month, we will be able to eat here again. H hey, hey, wait a minute. I think we should stop this challenge for test scores. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, that's a good idea. Uh, after all, I think it would be better for everyone to eat the same meals. Yeah, uh, sorry for everything so far. So, uh, let's forget about it. Hmm, alright. If we can eat some fine food, we would work harder. But if you say so, I guess we'll have to stop. Yeah. And that's how the test rules in our house stopped and a peaceful life started. Mr. Motoboshi, the new business is going well. It's not just a tutoring business. It's a maid tutoring service. The concept of a smart woman dressed as a maid teaching was correct. <laughs> That's just like you, Mr. Murabashi. It was surprising that it was popular with both boys and girls. 
Uh, really? After all, everyone likes maids. Oh, Yakubi, would you like to try working as a maid shooter? Yeah, no thanks. Yes! I got the shiny King Money Money! What? King Money Money? When it's shiny! Wow, really? Can I see? There's a game that's really popular at my school right now. It's called the Money Money Hunter, also known as Money Hun. Oh wow, you really got the shiny King Money Money. I read somewhere that you only get the shiny one at a percentage of 0.02. .02. Wow, Harusuke, you know a lot about this game. My name is Harusuke Okubo. I'm a 7th grader who just entered M Money Middle School. As expected from the Money Hun expert in our class. <laughs> yeah. Known as the Money Hun expert of our class, I not only understand the storyline of the game perfectly, I know the best way to use the items and the characters as well as the probability of acquiring them in the game. Well, the information are all from the internet though. But then, Okabe-kun caught the shiny King Money Money! Wow, that's great! Right? Gosh, I want to play Money Hunt so bad. Mom, can you buy me the game? I'm sorry, sweetie. I really want to, but... Oh, uh, it's okay. I don't mind. It's enjoyable enough looking at my friends play. I love Money Hun and called an expert at school. But my family's poor, and because I don't own the game, I've never tried playing the game myself. I always wanted to play the game, but I don't want my mom who's a single parent to go through a hard time. Since then, I stopped talking about Money Hun at home. And one day... Mom, I'm home! Uh, huh? That's the money! With the Money Hunt game software! Mom, where did you get them? It was my payday today. You've always told me you wanted it how to skate, so I decided to get you one. Oh my gosh! Thanks, Mom! It's the best day of my life! Be gentle with it, okay? Of course! I rushed to the park where I always meet my friends with a brand new money in my hands. Oh, Harusuke! Hey! We're playing Money Hunt as usual. Do you want to see us play? Guys, there's something I want to show you. Look! I got a money too! Huh? Your mom bought you one? Really? That's cool! We can finally play together! I couldn't wait any longer and quickly loaded the game. I joined my friend's party and was just about to fight the enemy when... Oops. Ah! Uh, what are you guys doing? Money hun? My classmate Gotaro suddenly bumped into me, and I accidentally dropped my game controller. No! No! My precious money! Gosh. Gosh! The screen is cracked! Oops, sorry. Did you drop it because I bumped into you? Your mom just got it for you. It's still brand new. There's nothing I can do. I was the one who dropped it. I was really sad that I no longer could play the game. But more than anything, I was ashamed of myself for breaking the game controller my mom bought for me working hard every day. Just go buy a new one. Huh? I can't. I can't believe I cracked it on the day I got it. I'm home. Oh, you're early today. How was Money Hun? Did you have fun? Um... I honestly told her that I broke the game controller. What? You broke it already? Yes. I'm sorry I broke it on the day you got it for me. Oh, well, it happened already. It's okay unless you learn from your mistakes. We'll be more careful next time, okay? Okay. I was trying not to cry. Then, my mom took out a piece of paper. By the way, I received this flyer the other day. Maybe we can get it fixed? Repair for free. All game controllers welcome. I was desperate to get it fixed, so I decided to bring in my money to the game shop. Um, I saw the flyer and, uh, do you think you can fix this? Oh, that looks pretty awful. What happened? Mom worked really hard every day to buy this for me, but I dropped it in the park on the day I got it from her. I can't even turn it on anymore. And it doesn't charge at all. I feel really bad for my mom. I was nearly in tears as I explained what happened. Come on, don't cry. Thanks for telling me. Now leave everything up to me. You... you can fix this? There's nothing I can't fix. I'll be right back. Thank you very much. 
Hmm, based on what he told me, he's from a poor family, and he finally got the game he wanted. If he loves playing games so much, I might give him a surprise gift. An hour after I gave him my controller... Here, all done. What? It's already fixed? Yeah, try turning it on. Wow, it's actually fixed! Thank you! I... I really don't know how to thank you enough. Don't worry. I'm just glad seeing boys your age happily playing games. Thank you very much! If there's a new game I want in the future, I'll definitely come here to buy it. You're always welcome here. See ya! Like this, I happily went home, carefully holding my fixed game controller in my hands. Mom! Mom! Look! I actually got it fixed! Good for you, sweetie. Thanks! I'm going to be careful not to drop it ever again! After I hurriedly told my mom about my fixed game controller, I rushed into my room to play the game. Wow, I still have my data saved. I bet he's really skilled. Huh? What? When I was checking my saved data, I found a character which I've never seen before. This character? It's the first time I'm seeing this character, but I think it reminds me of something. Is this the rare character from the past special event? I started researching about the special events that were held in the game in the past. Here it is! I knew it! It's Lioneer! The exclusive character that was distributed during the 10th anniversary event! Only 100 people chosen at random were able to participate in the event. Which means this character is super rare! I had no idea why I had this character saved in my data. But I somehow managed to get the exclusive character, the Lioneer. The next day... Look! I got my controller fixed! Wow, that's so cool! Great you didn't give up after it broke! When I was celebrating with my friends about my fixed game controller, Gotaro approached us with his friends. Hey, you're still playing games? Gotaro? Oh, it seems like your controller's fixed. Which stage are you on right now? Let me see. Uh, sure. I reluctantly handed the controller to Gotaro. What? How come you own this exclusive character? Uh, really? Gosh, yeah. I've never seen this character before. Huh? Wow, for real? Isn't it the Lion Ear? Harusuke, when did you get such a rare character? <laughs> it's no use if you don't know how to use it in a fight. Let's see who's the better money hunt player. Bring it on! I didn't have much experience playing the game, but I've read guys and researched about the game more than anyone. I confidently accepted a battle, but... He's so bad! <laughs> the battle ended in a second! Your exclusive character wasn't even that strong! I was defeated so easily. Although I owned the Lioneer, one of the characters that's believed to be the strongest in Money Hun, it only took me a few seconds to lose. Shoot, shoot, shoot! Why did I lose? I used the strongest attacks that gave the biggest damage to the opponent. I have to practice harder to become a better player. I fought against many people I matched with online, but... Uh, this is my 23rd loss in a row. Why? I thought the exclusive character was supposed to be strong. The Lion Ear's no use at all. As I lied down disappointed, I decided to do some research about the character in case I wasn't using it correctly. Then, I found a surprising fact. The weakest character ever without the right weapons. But with the exclusive weapons, no other characters can beat the Lion Ear. The Lion Ear was indeed the strongest character. Okay, now I have to go collect some weapons. Huh? The way to collect the weapons is a top secret! I thought I finally found a way to use the Lion Ear correctly, but I didn't know how to collect the exclusive weapons. In despair, I decided to join a random person's party I met online for the time being. The party members were apparently siblings in real life as well. Wow, these people are so strong! They are both really strong! Thanks! I'm glad to hear that! Thanks to you too! I really respect you both. I want to be strong like you. Huh? But you are using the Lioneer, right? With the right weapons, you'll be stronger than both of us. I... I don't know where to find the weapons. What? We can tell you where to find them. Really? You know where to find them? Of course! There's nothing we don't know about money, hun! With the two of them leading the way, I was able to find a sword with a decoration of a lion. This is the weapon dedicated to the Lioneer, the Lion Sword! 
With this, you'll be the strongest player in money, hon Haru Haru. Make sure to bring that weapon with you the next time we play together. Can I join your party and play with you again? Of, of course. course! Thank you. I look forward to it. A few days later. Hey, you playing money, hon? Let me join too. Sure! We're really good players, so don't let us down. Oh, you think you're strong? And how about we go against each other? Not playing together as a team. Sure thing! Let's fight! <laughs> Who said you were strong? So funny! You guys are so bad at playing this game! Weaklings! <laughs> Let's have another match! Let's stop. We'll never win. But we can't give up here! Sure, we can fight as many times as you want. You'll definitely lose in the blink of an eye again. <laughs> <laughs> we'll lose again. Let's go home. When I headed to the park to play money hunt with my friends as usual, Gotaro was there, defeating the little kids and smiling proudly. Is that Gotaro? He's defeating the little kids and having fun. How mean. I can't believe my people all that I've been working hard on was defeated so easily. It can't happen. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry. Let's practice hard together, okay? <laughs> oh no. They're crying. I have an idea. I quickly opened the chat box in Money Hunt and contacted Keita and Mel. There's a party I want to defeat. Would you be willing to help me out? Huh? Oh, Haru Haru texted us in the chat. Ah, a party he wants to defeat. Sis, what do you think? It sounds fun, so I'm in! Okay! Gotaro, aren't you embarrassed of yourself winning against these little kids? You're acting immature. What does this have to do with you? You're not welcome here, loser. What? You want me to defeat you again in the game? That guy's really strong. He defeated my people, Mon. I was working hard on so easily. <laughs> I'm part of a strong party now. I think I can win. You said it. If you lose, you give me your save data. Deal? Sure. Bring it on. Godaro teamed up with his two friends. I teamed up with Keita and Mel online, and our 3 to 3 battle began. Go, Iron Crawl! The attack of wings, blow of wind! <laughs> You're so weak! You're over! Beam of destroy! Oh no! You only have a small amount of HP left! You'll never win! <laughs> oh, I'm so lucky to get the Lion Ear from you! You'll never be able to use it well, but I'll be invincible with it! What, what are, are you, you gonna, gonna do? do? It's my turn to attack now! Huh? Lion Hour activated! Deadly Lion Bazooka! Oh! What's this attack? This is crazy! I've never seen it before! Keita and Mel, I'll leave the rest to you! Okie dokie! Go! Aqua Hurricane! Disappear! Demon Claw! No! Oh, help me! Uh, my Raven Knight! Shoot! I'm definitely gonna win next time! Prepare yourself! Yes! I won! Wow! You did it! Thanks to Keita and Mel, the strongest Money Hunt siblings, I successfully defeated Gotaro. Since then, we fought as a team in online game tournaments together. Haru Haru! Show them Lionier's special skill! Yep! Mel, could you follow with your usual combo? Sure! Leave it to me! and won several awards. Ah, I wonder how Keita and Mel look like. I hope I can meet them in person sometime. Hey, everyone watching Money Money People! Thanks a bunch for watching our video! If you all have any games you like, comment below! And don't forget to subscribe! Bye-bye! <sighs> What's with the sigh? Troubles? Well, I can't make friends at school. Is that all? No problem. Leave it to your sister. B what? Hello. Hey, I've been waiting. I'll show you to the room. No one can see in here. Go ahead and get ready. Okay, thank you. My name is Yuichi Eto, 
a sophomore in high school. When I got into high school, I wanted to make a lot of friends. It was good that I was enthusiastic. I completely missed the timing and was all alone, even between classes. Yukari, the next class is music. Let's go. Yep, wait a minute. I'll get my music bag. Even after school. Let's go to the new takoyaki restaurant after school today. Oh, that place with a guy who can turn them with style. Let's go. Always alone. <sighs> I also wanted to walk with my friends and go to takoyaki restaurants together. Why am I the only one who has no friends? Then one day... Hey, Yuichi! You like Mani God? Who's in your party? What? Oh, I'm with Mona and... Oh my god, what? Hey, everyone in your party has five stars! Wow! Hey, Keigo, come see! Yuichi's party is great! What's that? Wow, seriously, that's great! Yeah, that level is super high! Let's play multiplayer next time! Uh, yeah. With Rikuya's help, I became friends with all his friends. Hey, God and Buddha, I've made friends! Is this a dream? Before I knew it, we were friends who always spent time together between classes and after school. A little while later, Rikuya came and talked with me in a thoughtful manner. You know, it's a little hard to say, but the other day, your sister came to my house and, uh, she was dressed kinda sexy. Is she doing something... different? Different? You mean something bad? Oh, uh, looking like that. I feel like my dad is doing something bad too. At the time, I had no idea what it meant. However... Yuichi, let's go home. Uh, sure, uh, wait a minute. Walking home with Rikia on a hot day. Ugh, it's hot. E even 38 degrees today. Wait, that's more than body temperature. What does it really mean that the outside air is higher than body temperature? We were almost to Rikia's house. What? That was... Yuichi's... My... Sister? sister? I wasn't sure at first, but no matter how I thought about it, it was my sister. Was I hallucinating because of the heat? No, that was my sister. But why was she at Rikuya's house? And why was she in her underwear? I need to ask her. But what do you ask? Do you know Rikuya Tanaka? No, she may not know Rikuya. Uh, hey, have you bought any sexy clothes recently? Uh, no, that question is likely to be misunderstood. Uh, what should I do? Frustrated, I went to get a drink. And there she was. Uh, what are you doing? Huh? What am I doing? I'm making dinner? What? Uh, oh, right, uh, dinner. My sister is raising me. That's why it's not unusual for her to be cooking. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I was so frustrated at this time that I was surprised just to see my sister. Oh, there's no way I could ask her if she went to Rikia's house in her underwear. <sighs> what should I do? I know. If I go into her room, I might find out something. If I go into her room, I can see if she has any skimpy clothes without asking her. If she doesn't have any, I'll know that it wasn't her at Rikuya's house. <laughs> what a great idea! If she doesn't have sexy clothes, I won't have to worry anymore. While she is cooking, I looked into her room. Ah, there's so many! What? What is this? My sister's room is full of fashion magazines, as well as underwear of all kinds of shapes. Why? Why? There's so many things I don't understand. Why at Rikuya's house was she dressed like that? And then this room is... After a lot of thought, I came up with a hypothesis. Maybe she was at Rikuya's house to make friends for me. Looking back, this happened right after I told my sister that I couldn't make friends. Normally it wouldn't be possible, but she said she would do anything for me. I thought it was unlikely, but I decided to ask Rikuya first. Hey, was the reason you talked to me and we became friends uh, because my sister asked you to? Huh? No, it's not. Oh, I was wrong. It was good. Well, good. But then how was she going to get me a friend? If it's not to make friends for me, why would you dress like that at Rikuya's house? The mystery only deepened. Hi, this is Chihiro. Oh, Chihiro. I just sent you today's appointment. Will you go to that person's house? The address is as written there. Yes, thank you. The next person is ready as well. Thank you very much for arranging one after another. Sure, see you. 
Hmm, you met quite a lot of different people. But who was the best? Well, I guess it's Rikuya's dad. Everyone was very nice and kind, but Rikuya's dad was the most polite and kind. And above all, I think he was clean and good. One week after witnessing my sister at Rikuya's house, I was so worried that I had to check on my sister's movements. I'm sure it was about this time that I saw her last week. Oh, she's here! That's her! I never thought it would really come. Hello, it's Chihiro. Oh, Chihiro. Thank you for coming today. Thank you. Huh? What are they gonna do? I stared at the two of them from the shadows. The weather is nice today, so let's do it outside. Huh? Outside? What? Ooh, that's a good idea. A good idea? Despite my concerns, she started doing something in the garden with Rikia's father. Oh, okay, uh, just put your foot up a little. Ah, oh, you're so beautiful. What are they doing? Damn it, I can't see anything. I need to get a little closer. I was worried that I would see something that I couldn't imagine my sister doing. But I need to check. A little more, a little more. And then when I slowly tried to peek over the block wall... The block on which I put my weight on fell. Uh, what? Yuichi? Oh, uh, Jiro! What should I do? If I run away like this, I'll just feel awkward at home. Okay. Stop doing that! You're doing this to help make friends for me, aren't you? If that's so, then I don't need friends! They knew I was there anyway, so I had nothing to lose. I shouted as hard as I could. What? Friends? What are you talking about? Didn't you ask Rikuya to start talking to me? In return, you're with Rikuya's father. Wait, that's not it, it's just... Then what is it? But the reality seems to be completely different from what I imagined. You've got it all wrong. I just didn't say anything because I was embarrassed. The other day, I wanted to see if I could fulfill my dream. So I auditioned to be a model for Morojeri. I don't think it's possible to be a lingerie model with this style. However, for me, this desire is second to none, and above all, I want to be involved in the work that Mr. Moroboshi is involved in. Next, please! Uh, hello! And there at the audition menu was Mr. Moroboshi. Oh, no way, it's Mr. Moroboshi. Thank you for applying to be a Morojere model. First of all, please tell me about your motivation for applying. Okay. I love Morojeri's products. It's the clothes that people can't see. When you wear something cute, you feel confident from within. I want everyone to know the power it brings. I was happy enough just to meet Mr. Moroboshi in person. And I passed the audition. And even more... I really understand how you felt when you told us your reason for applying. If you are okay with it, I would like you to be in charge of promoting the next new products. Yes, of course! I'll work my hardest! One more thing. Because I think you know what it is like for a woman to shine the most, I had various designers draw the products with you as the model. Can you choose the designer who is likely to make something that women can shine the most? Of course! He even entrusted me with the enormous task of selecting a designer for the new product. And Rikuya's dad was one of the designers at Morojuri. I was the model he used to draw the examples. Oh, I see. That was a lot to hear at once, and I could fully understand the situation. But it didn't seem to be the kind of relationship I was worried about. You and Rikuya became friends in a way that had nothing to do with my job. I just found out that you and Rikuya were in the same class, and I was talking a little bit about you while we were working. I heard that you were into the same game that Rikuya had been playing, so I told him about you. He was looking for friends to play it with. I guess that's why he talked to you. I see. I may have been the trigger, but you hit it off and played together like you do now. I think it's your power. My own power? Hey, it turned out good. You're no longer alone, right? Yeah, it is good. I was relieved to learn that the first friend I made was not made through a strange request. By the way, the underwear that my sister promoted as a model... Hey, have you bought the new Morojeri yet? Not yet. 
every store is already sold out and it's back ordered. Really? The design is so cute, but that model is great! Oh, yes, yeah, she is. Hey, that model seems to be Eto's older sister. What? Seriously? Is the model of Morojeri's new products your sister? Yeah, it is. No way! Amazing! Thanks to the success of those products, her brother also attracted attention. That led me to become friends with girls as well. Thanks, Chihiro. I was always alone, but now I am surrounded by a lot of friends. I'm very happy. <sighs> Boring! Let's do something fun! Uh, but this is work. Not supposed to be fun. Oh, this is fun too! I like cleaning, but... I need something more than that, you know? Something thrilling! Oh, okay. This is my friend Keita. This really outgoing guy. He was always coming up with these wild ideas. I kind of admired him for it. I know! Let's play You Have to Live In! What's that? We come up with a bunch of weird places to live in. Then we write them down on a piece of paper, put it in a box, and pick one out randomly. Then you have to live there for a month! Oh, uh... Come on, let's try it! You for real? What's the point of all this? Oh, come on, it'll be fun! It'll be a great experience! Uh... Okay, all done! Come on, Yakubi! Ready? Fine, fine. Ready, go! Ah oh, man! I gotta live in the sewer for a month? Damn it! I gotta go live in the mountains? Okay then, see you in a month! Have fun! Ugh, this sucks. I said I admired him, but I take it back. Mom, where are we going now? Not sure yet, honey. These days some people pick on the homeless, so we gotta find somewhere that's safe. Come on, dear. I'm Kento Kijima. I'm nine years old. My mom and I got kicked out of our apartment the other day. She could no longer pay rent. Now we were out in the streets. We need to go somewhere warm. Yeah, but I'm tired. I can't walk anymore. I'm sorry, Kento. It's only for a little bit longer. Come on. Okay. Then I was walking. I tripped on something. Ah! I fell to the ground. Kento, you okay? Yeah. Oh, it was a manhole. The lid was slightly open. You heard? I'm okay. Hey, um... What is it? What about this place? Oh, the sewer, huh? So we went down the ladder to check it out. The place had everything we needed. Wow, look at this place, Mom. This is great. You're right, dear. It's warm in here. We could even wash ourselves. We had an unlimited supply of water. It wasn't that clean, but I think it's better than using rainwater. That feels nice. Yeah, I really like it down here. Come on, let's make a bed. Okay. It was really comfortable down here, and we didn't have to worry about the other people, so that was kind of nice. Then, about three months later, talking in his sleep. Oh, <sighs> <sighs> uh, what was that? Are those footsteps? Yeah, I think so. We heard some footsteps. Who could it be? What do we do? The footsteps were getting closer. I'm scared, Mom. No worries, I got you. Okay, they were getting really close. Mom! Let's hide. Come on. How about this place? Looks good! Good job! What are they doing here? They're up to no good, I can tell. But then... Okay, well, let's come back again tomorrow. All right! Don't forget how we got here! The scary looking guys walked away. The next day... Hey mom, this place isn't safe anymore. We should move. Those guys said they'd be back. I didn't think it was safe here. You're right, dear. Let's go look for a different spot. So we started walking, but then... Wow, what's this? Oh wow, looks like a house. Is someone living here? It was a house made of cardboard. Then... Oh, hello! You guys living in the sewer as well? This young guy poked his head out the window. Uh, yeah, we've been living here for about three months now. Wow, three months? That's a long time! I gotta stay down here for a month. Oh, Keita, by the way. Nice to meet you. Mm, nice to meet you. 
Your house is really nice. Yeah, I had some help from a skilled carpenter, though. Carpenter? I'm not a carpenter, Keita. Stop calling me that. Hey there! This is my sister. He said her sister helped him build this place. I'm jealous. Hey, I know. I'll make you guys one, too. Really? Thank you. So she built us a house right next to Keita's. I wasn't expecting this. All done. Wow, cool, amazing. Thank you guys so much. Same thing. We loved our new house. But then, it's them again. We've heard those footsteps again. There's someone else living here? Not sure. Last night we heard these footsteps and... Mom explained to them what happened yesterday. Then the footsteps got even closer. Wait, isn't this place... But this one looks better. Throw! Then they showed up at our doorsteps. Wow, what the... What are you guys doing here? What's going on? They looked really scary, but... They had a bunch of really cute cats. Um, well the thing is, we actually live here. What? Really? Will you let these cats live here? Please? Yeah, please? I don't know, this is our house, so... But think of the cats! They got nowhere else to go! Yeah, don't you feel sorry for them? Have a hat! I, uh... Fine, you can have it! But we just built this place. Well, let's make another one! Come on, guys! Really? Thanks, man! Yeah, thanks! Go on, this is your new home! I guess we're homeless again. No worries, they'll help us make another one. Yeah, we got you, don't worry! I wonder how Yakubi's doing! Hello, it's me, Kita! That's when he got off the phone. We're moving! Let's go to the mountains! What? what? Two weeks earlier, I was up in the mountains. I don't know how I got myself into this mess. Well, nothing I can do about it now. I started building a house. Good thing I know how to do this. Alright, that should do it. A few days later... Oh, this isn't that bad. I was actually starting to enjoy this. Ring, 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 ring. Oh, it's from Keita. What does he want? Hello? Hey, Yakubi! I gave my house to a bunch of cats, so I can't live in the sewer anymore. Can I get live with you? Uh, sure, I guess. He's not making any sense. Whatever. A few hours later... Wow! You made all this yourself? Yeah. Who are all these people? Um, what happened to your house again? Well, it's a long story, but... I see. Well, that's too bad, I guess. Kenta's friend said we could stay with him for a while. Make yourself at home. Thanks, Yakubi. Wow, he even built a shower. Amazing. Come on, let's all shower together. You guys are ripped. I wish I had muscles like that. Yakubi, you're in pretty good shape. Thanks, you too. This place looks pretty good. Yeah, how about that house over there? Who's that? Mr. Yakubi! What are you doing here? Huh? What are guys from the Neko Otoko family doing here? Hey, is everything okay? Ah, uh, they look like the guys we saw in the sewer. These guys are with the Neko Otoko family. Neko Otoko? Yeah, they're a group of delinquents who love cats. They'll do anything for cats. That's right! Oh, cats? So that's why. I thought there were five of you. Yeah, but we're working on different projects right now. And the other guys are looking at the sewer right now. I knew it. Mr. Yakubi, can you help us out? Huh? Can we use this house to look after the cats? Please! They asked if they could use the house to take care of the cats. Well, I guess so. I love cats too, so... Really? Thank you! Come on, call the others! Roger that! Good news! You don't have to stay in the sewer anymore! Come to the mountains! Mr. Yakubi is letting us use his house! For real? Alright, on our way! Oh, they're coming here too? For a few weeks, we all lived there together. Turns out the guys from the Neko Otoko family were really nice. 
I became good friends with them. But then, a few weeks later... Well, I better get going. What a month. Yeah! I got a new job, so I better head back. If you've got nowhere else to go, you can stay here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Then, the guys from the Neko Otoko family said to me... Hey, um, uh, can you look after the cats for us? Yeah, we gotta go to school during the day, so... Yeah, we don't want the cats to get lonely. Sure thing, no problem. Thanks, man! You guys go to school? I didn't know that. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Three months later, our lifestyle changed significantly. Welcome! Welcome, come on in. We started a cat cafe. At first, it was just a place for hikers to mingle with the cats, but we decided to turn into a business. Kento, hey! This place is packed! Yeah, looking good. We were no longer poor. It's all thanks to you guys. Come on in, make yourself at home. It was a rough couple of months, but glad everything worked out. Looking for more interesting stories and videos? Then come check out other videos from Mani Mani people here. We'd love to hear your thoughts, too. Drop a line in the comments below. See you soon!